stay riding, stay riding, yeah. Stay riding, stay riding, yeah. Stay riding, stay riding. Good morning, YouTube. JMB checking in with y'all this morning. On the last leg of this run from Indiana to Jessup, Maryland. Should be arriving about 30 minutes before my appointment time. Um, gonna drop this load and then should be heading home for my holiday break. I'm taking Christmas through New Year's off. And then I'll come out after New Year's 2018, ready to hit the ground running. Uh, 2017, 2017 in the rear view mirror. Officially, because after I drop this load and head home, when I get back in the truck, it'll be 2018. So with 2017 officially in the rearview mirror, man, I look back and it's a lot of things I've learned, a lot of things I've experienced being, uh, being over the road, being a entrepreneur, a business owner, you know, to some degree or another, a uh, air quote owner operator. <clears throat> Lease operator, whatever, whatever title you want to use, it's all boiling down to you're doing the same thing, just at a different level. Oh yeah, he got you, buddy. Yeah, you're not. Hold up, is he gonna let the dude skate? He gonna let him go? That was a cop that just came to me by. I thought he was gonna pull that car over, but apparently he trying to get home to the wife. Anyways, um. Yeah, man, I learned a lot. 2018, going into 2018, gonna be uh, ready to apply the things I've learned, I've experienced. Um, so that 2018 can and will be a year of growth and expansion for my business. Uh, further push, uh, pushing me uh, closer to my ultimate goal. Um, so looking forward to that. YouTube, there are several YouTubers in the trucking realm that I that I watch on a fairly consistent basis. Um, a couple that I watch as far as trying to gain knowledge and, and information that is going to help me to further my aspirations within the trucking realm and, and beyond that. So um, those guys would be King D. Raj, uh, Trucking with Oshar Parts, Still Hogging TV, aka Ghost, Trucker Brown, um, Golden Child. Those five are really the guys that I, I, I watch as far as trying to gain information to apply to myself because I respect the things that they are doing and have been able to do uh, thus far in their own journey out here in the trucking realm. There are other guys I watch that I may get some information from, other guys I watch that I just watch and they vibe with, you know, uh, such as a trucker named Jay who's back on the scene after deleting his previous channel. Obviously, uh, I got Guilty 718. Um, several others that I watch, more or less for entertainment. But the first five, those are the guys I watch as far as um, as far as trying to gain some type of intel. I also want to shout out to my new exclamation thought. Um, shout out to my young boy, Brian OJ, out here doing anything, different levels. The exclamation thought has purchased his own truck after a year OTR as a company driver. Been doing his thing. Young Brian OJ is out here finishing up his training at Prime, getting ready to get on his own. He has a very interesting story as to how he got into trucking. And you should go check out his channel, man. This cat didn't even, if I'm correct, didn't even uh, have his actual driver license for more than a couple of months before he came to Prime to get his CDL. So that's pretty amazing as far as I'm concerned. So shout out to that young boy. Young cat, man, good luck to you, bro. 
And uh, but moving forward, man, 2018, the year of growth, the year of expansion. So I got a couple things I plan on working on. Um, and, and I talked to King D Raj here and there on the phone. Cool cat. Um, you know, get some advice, some intel from him because I'm actually planning to take the route he has. And if you guys aren't familiar with King D Raj. Definitely go check out my man's channel. But um, he's at Stevens Transport. He bought another truck. Well, he got another truck, leased another truck through Stevens Transport. Um, it's a lease out there. Put one of his best, put his best friend in that truck. So he's been running two trucks for the last seven, eight weeks now. And he has plans to obviously grow from there in 2018. And I'm, Strongly considering taking that route here with Prime. It's something I thought about and considered when I first came here because of hearing stories about people such as uh, Tiffany Echoes, who is here and has been here at Prime and has at least five trucks that I know of. And there are several other drivers and, and, and fleet owners underneath Prime's umbrella, one of which I ran into when I was signing the lease for this truck. Um, he was there, and I forgot his name, man, but he was there picking up and signing a lease for two more trucks he had just leased and added on. All he runs is team operations, so all his trucks have team drivers in them. He still drives, but at one point he told me he had upwards of 30 trucks operating, all of which he had gotten through Prime in success leasing. And that currently he had downsized to, he said, he currently had 15 trucks all with team, team operators in it. And um, because he said 30 trucks, that kind of became too much and overwhelming for the manage, but he was able to deal with about 15 to 18 trucks a lot better. So I ran to these guys and, and you know, I, I talked to them and if they're willing to share information, I'm willing to listen and pick it up. I pick up any jewels or gems they may drop. So I kind of got off track from that uh, idea more because I really started getting irritated and tired from being away from home so much, being away from my family so much. But after careful consideration, sitting down and actually thinking what is the smart, what is the correct business move to make? Because leaving home and coming out here on the road was the correct business, business move and decision to make as far as the inception of starting my company. And then as I was out here, as the months went by, I started thinking more about, uh, less about the proper or correct business move, but more about the, you know, better personal move, which if you don't know, you, you know, you should know that business and personal don't go together. They rarely go together and, and they rarely agree with each other. So, uh, the recap in that, man, I, I've come to the conclusion that, I'm not going to say conclusion, but it might be a better idea for me to grow underneath Prime as opposed to stacking my money, going out and say taking the, taking the route that my boy Exclamation thought to, because um, that's what I was really aiming to do. And the, the primary reason for that was because I wanted to get onto a company with a low board and be able to dispatch myself, go where I wanted to go, essentially keep myself closer to home. I want I want to operate, and that's still, that's still ultimately, that's in the fold, that's in the plans, but I think as of right now, it might be better for me to, to kind of grow where I'm at, get a couple of drivers to drive underneath this prime umbrella, and then, you know, maybe if I got three trucks running that prime, maybe then I can go ahead and buy me a truck, and continue with the plan I have for myself as far as I want to run until I get to the point where I don't have to run anymore at all. But, um, you know, I, I always keep my options open. I always keep my um, mind open to new new or, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? New or refurbished ideas. So, with that said, man, told y'all a couple videos ago, I'll let y'all know what I was thinking about, you know, if it starts to come to fruition, I don't like to speak things too much, because they say, you know, a plan, smoking too soon is a plan that's 
foiled or something along those lines, but there's also the saying of speaking things into fruition, speaking things into uh, existence. So I'm contemplating trying to lease another truck through Prime and put a driver in it. Now the driver I was, I'm thinking of putting in it, it's the guy I'm familiar with. Um, the last student I trained, he said he'd be interested in doing that. So I was, I'm, I'm considering, I gotta, gotta call up, gotta make some calls, which I'm gonna do while I'm on break, call some sisters and see what I need to do in order to, to put myself in that situation. But uh, I'm, I'm thinking about leasing another truck, putting my former student who's been out on his own as a company driver doing very well for himself, Sony, shout out to my boy Sony. In this truck, I hop into the, the 2018, because you know I can't let d Rods be the only one out here uh, riding clean like that. So hop into the 2018 Freightliner, possibly international. Let my boy Sony run this truck until you know he's ready to move forward with his own personal plans. So that's that's kind of what I got in the fold coming up, man. Um, I will definitely keep y'all abreast and, and updated to as how that goes. But that's that's what I'm looking forward to doing. So training more, potentially getting a second truck on here at Prime. Yep, yep. Phone cut off. Battery died. I forgot to plug it up. So my bad about that. But I'm back at y'all to finish up this video. Um, so as I was saying prior to the technical difficulty. Um, I already talked to my boy Sony, man. He's on board as long as I can get another truck. Uh, through success leasing, he's willing to hop in this one and, and like I said, run it. So that's what we got in the pot cooking up right now. I'll definitely keep y'all informed on how that goes. More training as I move forward in 2018. Um, and, you know, just grinding, man. Just just out here trying to keep my head down, moving forward relentlessly, grinding, trying to make my dream a reality. And um, so that's what we got in the table, man. Only God knows what the future holds, but you know, Lord willing, this time next year, as 2018 comes to a close, got nothing but, you know, success, or more success to speak upon, more growth in my business and in my journey. And, um, you know, we'll see. Time will tell. But um, as always, man, well, first and foremost, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, you know, whatever you may celebrate. Um, if you don't celebrate anything, then Happy Holidays, if that's a fair statement to use. Um, as always, man, appreciate y'all for checking out my videos, checking out my channel. And uh, those of y'all that subscribe, man, appreciate that. For those of y'all who haven't, if you care to, go ahead and click the button, man. If you don't, it is what it is. Um, but I'm just going to keep moving forward, man, and, and, you know, take everything day by day, week by week, month by month, see what the future holds, and, you know, adjust and move forward accordingly. So um, I'm just a man. I'm just a man out here working hard, grinding. Man out here shooting for the stars and sleeping on the clouds. So um, that wraps up 2017 for me. Next time I holla at y'all, that'll be 2018. So happy New Year's, happy holidays, all the good stuff to y'all, man. As always, until next time, y'all be riding. Stay happy, ain't body, yeah. Stay riding.